Hey there, so we're back to Piano Method Level 1A. One last piece for this um, group of pieces. This is page 11 at the bottom. We're gonna skip this top one because it's a little silly. But the bottom one is kind of fun. This is Beethoven in unison. Um, and this one, unison means you're doing the same thing at the same time in your two hands. Um, so we have for the right hand, this is still C position, right? Nothing's changed there. Starting on those E's, but you notice a long stream of quarter notes. It just goes and goes and goes. At the same time, your left hand is also playing. So this is kind of like the basic timing. If you've done, if you've hit that video um, at all, uh, it's the same idea. The two hands are doing the same thing at the same time. No resting in either hand. So it's a little, little tricky that way. So let's do just right hand. Um, we've been talking about seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, and repeated notes. Basically what you see in this piece is repeated notes or uh, steps, right? Seconds, up, 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 down, 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 down. Same note, up, 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 down, right? So just really watching for which direction you're going. Okay, and it should sound familiar. I think everybody knows this piece uh, in, in some form or another. It's often in commercials, but this is from Beethoven's um, Ninth Symphony. All right, the Ode to Joy. Okay, one, two, ready, go. line. Um, when you hear it, uh, your ear will probably tell you to do something different with this rhythm, but don't worry about it. Just play in straight as written. Um, yeah, the, the original piece has some long, short, short, yeah, so, but don't worry about that. Um, and then in the last line, similarly, right, just reading ups and downs. All right, so let's put the hands together and play the first line and then into the last line. So a lot of this, I'm not gonna play all of it one hand at a time. I'm gonna assume as you're practicing that you can do that because you want um, you want to be able to read both hands. All right, so from the top, Beethoven, both hands, both E's together. One, two, ready, go. That's it. Sounds good. And let me know if you have questions.